Hello and welcome to Game Slap Plays Indie Games episode 17 with me, Sam. Now then, today we're going to kick off things with Avatar Snowboarding. No, I didn't really expect much from this, and to be fair, the actual game itself controls a bit crazily like Avatar Fighters before it. You, uh, you have control of the character's muscles and their ability to lean, not really much control over the board as you can see by that horrific fall. You know, this was a few tries into the game where I worked out that you have a boost power that can project you down the slope. So here we go, let's get the character up in the air. It's uh, it's good fun again, it's something like if you've got a few friends around, you're going to find this funny because it's impossible near enough to land jumps. But it is quite fun to, you can continue to move your character's limbs while you spiral out of control down the hill. Here we go, let's see if we can spin him round, there we are. Oh. Sam the Stormtrooper is dead. Alright then, let's move on to game number two, which is Quinboo. Yeah, this is a fun little robot game where you flit around a level, you've got to pick up coins to make a door open. The door's already open because I've already completed this level. Uh, in fact, now I'm just messing around with the camera. See, look, I mean, this game looks nice. It's uh, it's gonna you can have uh, a fair bit of fun with it, uh, as I did. In fact, that's a that, that camera, that camera there is pretty cool because you can actually see yourself moving around. It makes the just adds a little bit of fun to the game. Anyway, I'm not going to spend any more time on that. But uh, Quinn Boo, yeah, definitely fun. If you've got an afternoon, you want something to play, then get that Pebble Dash here. Uh, apart from the unfortunate name, this is a Boulder Dash clone. Uh, it also reminds me of a wonderful game that was for the Net Your Aussie for the PlayStation 1 which is called Rocks and Gems. If you, I'm not even sure if it's out there anymore but if it is I'm sure you'd be able to get it for the PC. Now that was an absolutely fantastic Boulder Dash clone. This isn't too bad but uh, I'm not sure how far, uh, how many levels the game actually has. But I would hope that it it would get a lot more difficult because it's actually quite simple as a whole. Well, I say quite simple, but I'm actually about to get stuck now. You know you know what you're getting with Boulder Dash. You go around, you dig plate things. And there we go. That's Game Slap Plays Indie Games, episode 17. Anyway, thank you very much. Goodbye.